Good day everyone. In this exercise, we will recreate the following plate and we will introduce the concept of parametric 3D design. The term parametric refers to the use of design parameters to construct and control any 3D model you create. This plate is used in some hydraulic assemblies. So it's a simple exercise and to get started first you need to create a new millimeter part and then we will create the base sketch. There are many ways to create the base sketch. This depends on how we visualize the part. In this exercise, we will assume the base sketch is mainly made up of two rectangles. So maybe we can imagine the first rectangle is somewhere here. And the other rectangle is slightly overlapping to represent the other part. We can then extrude and then modify the extrusion and add any features as necessary to arrive at this final part. So first, create your millimeter file and then we need first to draw the base sketch. From the 3D model tab, select the start 2D sketch. Inventor will turn on the origin geometry and pause for you in order to select one of the planes. So we will sketch on the XY plane in this case. So first we will select a rectangle, a two point rectangle you have multiple options to choose from so we're going to choose the two-point rectangle start from the origin as highlighted in green and simply just drag the mouse and click that will form a rectangle for you because we have chosen the rectangle by default you have the constraints already existing Using the active sketch tab and tools, we click on dimension and we hover over the upper side, drag upward, and let's assume this is a 200 millimeter. We will zoom out. We're also gonna add a dimension on the side. Of the rectangle let's put it as 100 zoom out as well uh, this is now a fully constrained rectangle representing one feature of the part we showed you before let's add another two-point rectangle at an angle but first we will uh, create a normal rectangle with arbitrary dimensions Click on dimension. Let's make this as two fifty millimeter and let's uh, choose that one as maybe eighty millimeter. Zooming out a little bit and clicking on dimensions we will create an angle between these two rectangles clicking on the side of the second rectangle and the upper side of the first created rectangle you will notice that the angle is 90 degree which is expected but we would like to change this one now this may not be possible and we have to remove one of the constraints, existing constraints. So to do this, uh, you may have to uh, show all constraints on the uh, sketch. You will notice this constraint need to be deleted. So if you right click and delete, now we can perhaps add the angle between these two rectangles. So that's the first side and that's the second side now when I click it will allow me to change the angle 
which is what we want. So we will put a 110 degrees for now. And yes, we have managed now to create this angle between two rectangles. Now we have the base sketch, we can extrude to make a rough estimate of our part. To do this, we have to finish the sketch, zoom out, click on extrude under the 3D model tab, and we will choose the both areas, and we will extrude by 10 millimeter. You can use the view cube, which is a 3D tool that allows you to rotate the view. Or alternatively, you can use the uh, pan, zoom, orbit, or look at from the navigation bar. Now we will modify this section in order to match it with the original part. To do this, we can sketch on the surface. So clicking on the 2D sketch, choose the upper surface. So let's draw an arbitrary feature using the line command. So we click on the line. Uh, we could, perhaps before this, we can project the geometry of the whole part. This will show as yellow border. Then click on the line. Now we have a fully constrained sketch. Let's add another sketch using the line.
extrude let's choose the areas first click on cut and click OK so our part starting to take shape So choosing the uh, whole option under the 3D model tab Now let's create the hole on the corner This is done in a similar fashion Create a sketch again place a point as desired add dimensions now we have a fully constrained point we can finish a sketch create the hole by pressing on the hole option this time we will increase the diameter to 35 or perhaps 40 now we have the part almost done we can fill it the edges as desired in order to do this under the 3d model tab we click on fill it you will be prompted to enter the radius in this case uh, it's up to you uh, we'll leave this as 3 mil for now uh, we click on the edge if you wish if you are planning to do all of the uh, all the size then perhaps you can choose the loop in this case it will fill it all the edges shown in red if you wish to f actually fill it the feature you can click on the feature part and either you hover your mouse over the extrusion you would like or you can choose it from the history browser for now we're gonna choose the edge mode zoom in to the edge you would like to fill it and simply click on it Of course you can use your view cube and your orbit as well and click apply.